Hey guys, Tech Trouble Video. If you guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset and delete everything off your iPhone. Now, this is something you want to do if you're giving away your phone, selling it, trading it in, whatever the case may be. This is going to completely wipe out your personal data from the phone and be ready to go for the next person. So, let's get started. So, before doing a factory reset or wiping out your iPhone completely, it's important that if you want to keep your data, you back it up so you can go into your settings. Do a iCloud backup by simply going in, clicking your name here, right, and then iCloud, and there's an option for iCloud backup. If you turn it on, you can click on to backup now, or if you don't have enough storage on your iCloud, you can use your PC or your MacBook using iTunes app to back it up. But before even resetting it, I highly recommend that you back it up because once you do that, it cannot be undone. So once you're ready to delete it, simply go into your settings. Go to general and go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. We're going to click on this option here. And then now it presents you a menu to be able to do a complete erase content and settings. So if you click on erase content and setting, it's going to tell you what's going to get erased here. So it's going to get erased as all the data and apps here. Our Apple account will get removed. Our activation lock will get removed. And eSIM, if you like to get that removed as well. Hit continue here. And what it'll do is try to do a backup. If you didn't do a backup, or you can wait till it completes the backup, which is, again, highly recommended. But I already backed it up, so I don't have to do anything. The next thing you're going to get is this Apple ID password. So you need to put in your Apple ID password that you have signed in to in order to turn off Find My and the activation lock so the next person can use it. Without turning this off, you can't reset the phone, or if you do, if the other person gets it, they won't be able to use it unless you use this step to put in your own password and then turn it off. And if you forgot your password, you can also reset it as well. So I'm just going to enter my password here. All right, so I entered my password, and all I do is click on Turn Off here so it can turn off my Find My and Activation Lock. So let's try again. And then after you do that, what will happen is you'll be presented with this menu whether you want to keep your eSIM card or delete it. So if you're giving this phone away and not going to be using it, you want to do this step. But let's say you want to reset it up again, restore your data. You want to keep the eSIM data because you don't want to go ahead and activate it. Either of the method will delete everything depending on if you want to keep the eSIM or not. So like I said, this the step where it says delete eSIM is the one that you want to do. I'm keeping my eSIM here, so I'm just going to do test step. But for you, it will be the other step. And then as you can see here, it's starting the process to delete everything on your phone and if you're going to be transferring services from one carrier to another, also call up your carrier to make sure you cancel your plan and such. Deleting the eSIM here won't delete or cancel or send a cancellation to your company or the carrier that's using your phone service. So this process generally takes a minute or two, maybe even a few minutes, depending on how much stuff you have on your phone. Like if you have tons of photos, videos, apps, it takes time to delete. But you want to see that this process goes through successfully by going through each of this menu and I highly recommend that your phone is at least 50% or more charged or if not plugged into a charger when this whole process is happening because sometimes if it's really low on battery and it dies during the process it won't complete and then you'll have to redo the step or it could mess up your phone so here as you can see here I went through a couple of Apple logo with flashing and then these bars that tell you the progress sometimes they're accurate sometimes they're not but the one thing I want to wait during this whole process to show you is that once it gets factory reset, the only the way to tell it's been completely done is that when it gets to that hello screen that you usually get when you initially set it up yourself. So we'll wait till it gets to the hello screen here to show you what a complete process looks like when the factory reset has been successfully done. So it looks like it's still going, it's taking its time, which is completely fine. Again, like I said, just have to be patient with the whole process and see it through. 
And finally, as, as I mentioned, we get the hello screen and this means that the factory reset has been done and it gives us the menu to set it up like you would if it's a brand new phone and you're good to go. All of your personal data is completely wiped out. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.